Okay, it took a little while to get the nails out. Thank goodness for the ripper and patience. And I was able to get, it's about 10 inches, so you can see I'm up in there about nine inches. Now I think this one right here fixed the leak. But then I noticed a seam right here. And I thought, you know what? I have another piece of aluminum up here. I'm gonna take time and do it. So I did that one too. So let's see what happens next rain. But I think, I think this is gonna take care of it. And we'll have to see if we any show up. Now the ones we fixed over there are fine. Did not show any signs of leak. These two, we didn't go near as high. So if we um, do develop a leak here again, we'll, um, we'll go higher on it. But we haven't. So that leaves us one area that has still has been and still is a problem. We did do some lapping here. I put two pieces, one there and one right here because this is where the two roofs met and there wasn't enough overlap. Just a slight leak, but I don't want any leaks. So we're down to this area right here. Turns out this just isn't, it does it for a normal rain, but if there's snow on the roof, it doesn't do it. So what I'm thinking is, I need to think about this more, is take all this off. I'll reuse it elsewhere. And put a two foot wide white one right down through there. And see if that does it. I mean, the ultimate is to take this roof off and do it all metal. And that'll, that'll solve it. But I wasn't really prepared to do that yet. And that's the same with this. But if I can fix these leaks, these roofs will be good for a while. The only thing is they do add a lot of heat to the house. So I still have too many other things to do, though, before I tackle this. Okay, so I think we fixed this leak, and we're going to find out next, next rain.